Now, I, I hate to have to make this video because I literally just made a tutorial four months ago back in March. But as you guys know, Plutonium had that, um, I don't actually, I don't know if Plutonium was hit with a cease and desist. Everything else was hit with a cease and desist by Activision, like SM2 and uh, X Labs that did IW4X and all that stuff to where they had to take their projects down completely. And Plutonium, in order to stop that from happening to them, they took the torrent file off of their website, right? Now, I will, this is an updated tutorial on how to do that, but I just got to run through something first. And the reason why I'm doing this video, because I was just going to leave it, because I thought that a pinned comment would be enough to let people know, but clearly not. Now, I'm not getting pissed about this. You know, if people, you know, annoyingly scroll past the pinned comment, that clearly says, so some of you might have heard about the cease and desist orders being sent out to all di all the different modded clients by Activision recently. Plutonium has not been fully affected by this yet, and to ensure that they can remain in operation, they have took the torn file off of their website, so now you will need to own a copy of BO2. That clearly was enough, because then this morning I wake up and I get this comment that says, Shittiest fucking tutorial ever, you fucking useless shit stain. How am I useless when you scrolled right past the pinned comment that told you why the plutonium tutorial that you just watched didn't work? What more do you want from me? <laughs> so now of course I responded, see now if you read the pinned comment like a normal person rather than coming here and insulting me, you'd actually see why this tutorial isn't working anymore, genius. Really pissed me off. And I mean, I, I still also get other comments, just there is no torrent file. First of all, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm, not, I'm not even going to bully people. Not. But I said, you scrolled directly past the pinned comment that tells you why. I've been getting so many comments on this video over time that says that there isn't a, t there isn't a torrent link or that, you know, this, you know, tutorial doesn't work. But you literally scroll past the pinned comment to leave a comment telling me that it doesn't work. When you scrolled right past the reason why it doesn't work. It makes no sense. So, like, the fact that I have to make this video, like, kind of annoys me. See, like, this guy, five days ago, shit's bullshit, the link's not there. No shit, have you read the comment? You went down to the comment section, it tells you why. Now, some people were helpful and mentioned about the Wayback Machine, and I will go over that. I'm not going to fully show you how to download it that way, but I'm going to run you guys through how you're supposed to do it. Um, I'll still also explain how it's done. So let's of course get started. The normal way you would do it is you would go to the plutonium website. Um, you'd click download and it'll run you through. It's the same process essentially just without the torrent link because that was completely taken down. You still got to download the plutonium.exe. You still have to make sure you have a forum account. Um, all the same stuff. But instead when you go to set, click set up, you're essentially like you're going to have to own the game on Steam. Okay. So let's open Steam real quick. I don't own the game on Steam and I'm not buying it. And I understand why people aren't going to want to buy it, which is why I will show the other way. Now, granted, this stuff was on sale. Um, I mean, it's it's 1979. I still think that's kind of bullshit for a game this old. It should be like 10 bucks. Um, but yeah, see, like after after August 3rd, which is, you know, in a few days, it's going back to being $60. Why? I don't know because it's bullshit. So essentially you would own it. And like, let's go to a random game that I have, like Euro Truck Simulator. I've been playing an unhealthy amount of this game for no reason. You would click the manage like gear icon. You can't really see because my face cam, but it has a gear icon and it says manage. Um, and then you would go to properties and you actually you know an easier way to do it is click that and you ho hover over manage and then click browse local files and it'll take you to your file explorer. In which case you just left click up here, right click uh, and copy this like thing and this would be for black ops 2 of course and then once you're in the setup section and you have to choose the directory file you just copy and paste that um that directory into it and you're all set up you just gotta link where your game is actually installed through steam it's just it's easier to go through steam and go that way instead of digging through your files to find it but yeah after that then you can play i mean and of course if you have any issues uh all the you know helping stuff is on the website like always and of course this is the same for Modern Warfare 3 and World at War and Black Ops 1 and even Guitar Hero 3. <laughs> now with the torrent file not being there anymore people found that if you go to the Wayback Machine and you go into plutonium.pw the Wayback Machine is essentially an internet, arch an internet archive uh, that allows you to view like older screenshots and older versions of different websites so like for example let me just show a fun example of this if I go to YouTube I was having issues getting it to load but I found one from 2008 but you can see how, you know, this is what YouTube used to look like, uh, all that stuff. Um, yeah, so people found that if you go to plutonium.pw, that you could go back to, like, you know, 2022 before this all happened. If I just go to June 3rd and just view it, uh, it'll show you an older version of the website, in which case the, or the torrent file will be there. And let me just show that. I don't think, like, I, I was, like, hesitant about showing you guys this, um, but I know I can't get in trouble for it. 
and I know the plutonium guys can't get in trouble for it because this isn't their doing. They they took it off, you know, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, and of course, obviously use a VPN, all that stuff, but yeah, it's right here, just like the same way you used to, in which case, if you just go here and do it this way, then the other tutorial will work. Um, and of course the same process over and over again. Um, so yeah, just, I, I had to make this video. It's, it'll, it'll be short probably, but you know, yeah, I just, I had to because I keep, I keep getting comments. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if, if this is your first time seeing me, my name is Xerid. I make Call of Duty content. If it wasn't obvious enough, channel's dead, trying to revive it. That's my story. And if you want to, you know, come along on the journey, obviously shameless plug, it's my video. So I'm going to do it. You can't blame me. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.